Well, now we're on our way to the Virginia Capitol Trail. First and foremost thing has to be done before we get rolling on the road. Pretzel me. Gotta have them for any kind of road trip. Tradition, tradition, tradition. That's it. Well, friends, we are coming to you from this is the old Methodist parsonage here, but we're getting ready to head out on the Virginia Capitol Trail. Virginia Capitol Trail is a, I believe, 52 mile long route. It follows a road for the most part. It starts out as a very urban area. We rode a little bit of it in Richmond, and then it goes all the way to, I believe, Williamston, or Will Wilming. Where does that trail go to, the Virginia Highland Trail, Michelle? Virginia Highland? That, that's or uh, not the Virginia Highland Trail, but the uh, Virginia Capital Trail that we're getting ready to ride. From Jamestown to Richmond. Capertown to Richmond. And we've got a, we're starting out in the Richmond, this is Richmond Battleground, I believe, historic battleground right here that we happen to be in right now. And then we're all about two or three miles from the trail right here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cut this off. What's this thing? What's this and thing? And we will catch up with you when we get on to the trail. Okay, so what we have done is we have left the uh, Richmond Battlefield. And I believe this is not really an extension, but it's a connector to the uh, to the Capital City Trail. And so we're going to go ahead and follow this down to it. And then we got a nice little surprise from Michelle. This is, this is kind of her ride that she wanted. And so we'll enjoy that let's just say <laughs> well i'll enjoy so, it so what did you think michelle about the urban riding well i mean it's it was you know packed full of interesting things around every turn you know and and definite definitely um it, i don't want to use the word adventurous but uh, what's the, what's a good word for it? Busy. Yeah, bi very busy. Very, you know, there was something going on. Uh, very, very overwhelming to the um, senses, to the mind. You know, you never, you never had a a minute where you could say, "Okay, let's enjoy this." You know, this quiet little trail here for more than a few moments and then boom it was something else yeah and it may and it maybe wasn't something else spectacular but it was something else that grabs the senses that grabs your senses yeah there were several things that grabbed my senses <laughs> you know so and, you know I, and i mean i don't want to say you constantly felt like you were white knuckling it but, you know, we use biking for relaxing, or at least we try to. I wouldn't say we were white knuckling it. I was. I don't know about you, man. My <laughs> well, knuckles were white when I was going you were, on those bridges. On those bridges and on some of them rocks and going down some of those stairs and on the flood wall. And, uh, you know, <laughs> so yeah, there were several, several instances for me. Yeah, I don't know that we will. Uh be going and staying two days at an urban area again. Yeah. I'll tell you what I would have actually enjoyed quite a lot, because uh, I'll give you my thoughts on it. Everything is very tight together, you know. I've never lived in a city. Uh, and, and of course the, uh, 
the place that we stayed, it was like a, your typical city apartment, very small, very cramped. You better watch when you get out of the bed because you might smack your knee on a piece of furniture or something real close by. But, uh, uh, and then when I walked outside to have my coffee, well, you know, that was extremely small. It was artificial turf. So, but I mean, I could live with that for a few days. But I'll tell you what would have been more interesting. And yesterday, if it wasn't for the thunderstorms, we was going to take this ride the opposite. We was going to ride from the city out towards basically almost to where we are at now. We're just a few miles short of where we are picking up the, uh, uh, we're gonna make a right turn up here, Michelle. All right. And hook this way. Uh, just a few miles short of where we're picking up the trail at here. And what would have been very interesting to me, I'm gonna slow down, cause I know Michelle's gonna come kind of slow down here. What would have been very, very interesting to me would have been the transition from, you know, we followed part of the Capitol Trail out of there and it went for, holy cow. Miles and miles. Uh, well, I mean, it went the whole way, but there was one section underneath of the railroad that you was underneath of a railroad bridge for maybe a half a mile, quarter of a mile, half a mile, something like that. Uh, that would have been, that would have been pretty interesting to me as far as I am concerned, uh, to see that transition from that and the industrial into the country. You know, I mean, we're, we're, we ride in Raleigh quite a lot. Raleigh was never an industrial area. Raleigh has always been more of a tech area or a hub area. You know, we've got textiles in North Carolina was a major industry and then agriculture uh, is a major industry. Raleigh's always been a hub of that for transportation, and then it turned into a tech. Uh, a tech city, and so, where you at there, Michelle? Right behind you. Got a tractor trailer coming, so we'll wait. <laughs> okay. But we are at the Capitol Trail right now. Okay. All right, you're coming here, coming onto the trail. Okay. Yeah, so I think the, I think the next the next adventure that we do may consist more of staying on the outside of the city and us either one of two things: biking in or um, you know driving in and finding somewhere to park and uh, explore for you know, the day and then zipping uh -huh. back out. So, it, you know, it, like I said, it was, it was very, for people who, who like we are, who, you know, do live in the country, I would imagine, you know, it was, it was, it was very overwhelming. <laughs> It'll overwhelm the senses. It's kind of like at the time we was up in New York. Oh my gosh. You know, it, it, it was, it was the same thing. Cause again, New York was a very industrial, at least that area was very industrial has a very industri industrial history. And Richmond has a very industrial history as well. Like I say, Raleigh is more the uh, shipping history, more than anything industrial. So that was quite different from what we're used to doing. And I'm glad we did it. You got a bike coming at you there, Michelle. Uh, I am extremely pleased that we that we did it. Uh, well, it's a, it I couldn't was live there it was, though. It was a definite different taste and different feel and different kind of experience. Yeah, yeah. So and probably the first for us to be in that urban of an area. I'm trying yeah. to think. I would, as as far as biking. Yeah. As far as biking. So, well, there goes Speedy Gonzalez on by me again. Doesn't she look nice today, guys? <laughs> I'm, I'm bright pink today. <laughs> You're what? 
bright pink today. Riding pink today. Well, no, bright pink today. Bright pink. Well, I'm bright blue. Yeah. So temp temperatures out today are pretty nice out here. I thought it was going to be pretty warm. It's uh, before 11 o'clock in the morning. And uh, uh, I don't know what the temperature is, but it feels very good out. Mm -hmm. We'll put it that way for an August weekend where the rest of the country is real hot. That thunderstorms yesterday brought some cool area through that actually has managed to hang on for a little bit. So we're real pleased with that. And what else do we got going on while we're on this trail here, Michelle? I know we're, we're gonna be stopping up here at, a, at an interesting spot. Uh-huh. Um, well, I mean, this afternoon when we're done here, we're going to that place that we've been uh, talking yeah, about a that's few gonna, things that's going to be another whole video i'm, I'm thinking a, a, another uh, what that's going to be another entire video probably because we're going we're going to petersburg it's not a long ride but that's a very interesting place yeah, at least that's nothing, what we're thinking it, it is a very yeah. interesting place it's it's nowhere near as big as richmond is so i'm I anticipate that you know we're not going to have the overwhelming amount of traffic uh -huh. and conglomerate of people uh-huh so so, and then the other thing that's kind of going on a little bit that I'll get your thoughts on, Michelle, and more bamboo, Biker. is I'll pull him, I'll take the back right here. Uh, the, uh, the other thing, and I, te I tell you, this, this trail was busy all the way. We're, oh, I don't know. 15 miles or so out on it and it's still relatively Dang. busy but boy it was really busy Dang. yeah i know uh it was really busy closer down into richmond that's for darn sure so but i'll tell you what else has been on on my mind quite a bit how y'all doing today uh is this idea of vlogging these road trips it was <laughs> Not as easy as I, oh, well, I, I knew it wasn't going to be easy. I knew it was going to have a learning curve. I just, I just don't like to wait to get that learning curve. So, uh, you know, I think we could have done a, a uh, better job on our videos, but we're not quite sure how to do that just yet. And so that means we're gonna to have to go take a few more uh, road trips. What do you well, think, Michelle? Well, we definitely have one road trip coming up this fall. And then of course, winter time's kind of iffy. It's kind of too cold to... Right, right. So what it's, gonna, what it's gonna boil down to... But we might have some day trips. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, but we, we just need a little bit more practice on this idea of logging the entire trip you know we're pretty good at basically letting you know you know an intro and an outro <laughs> but when we start adding all these pieces together and you never know what you're going to run into hey blaine where do yeah. we turn off down here we don't for a little while oh okay uh when you uh don't know what's going to be coming up why you don't know how to do it you know what i'm saying and so the, the editing is kind of kind of a challenge right now, but you know, a challenge is what keeps you young. So I'm okay with that. I'm taking the front, Michelle. Okay. Uh, morning. You know, we were talking about the city and I'll tell you something else that I know, or that I noticed, Michelle, is people out this way are a lot more inclined to look you in the eye and tell you good morning and things like that yeah did, did you happen to notice that yeah they everybody's uh, well not everybody but several people just kind of looked up and said good morning and yeah not I, looked at us like we have three snakes coming out of the top of our head or don't look at all or yeah. don't look at all and i think that's just something that you get acclimated to if you're in the city remember we were talking about that sensory overload well i think if you're living there you start to tune out things you know, that would only make sense as far as I'm concerned. Well, do you so remember... I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say they're quote rude or right. or they're looking out. It's just that's their culture 
that you're living in there, you could almost tell who was from the city and who was visiting. We got another bike coming at us. Yeah. But do you remember when we went year, I mean, it's been years ago, when we went to New York, not with Caitlin, but we went up to see Clara? Yeah. I went, uh, and um, I didn't our... go to New York with Caitlin. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. We went to we went to New Jersey. Now you guys, while I was over oh, there. Oh yeah, we took we took the uh, the bus into to New York. Um, yeah. But yeah. I mean, you and I, you know, we were we were there. We weren't there long, but by the end of the day, we were both very cranky, very <laughs> irritable, and you know, you have to ask yourself, is that a is that a thing for for folks who reside in the city? Do they? I don't know about that. Well, I know one thing. Oh, I was crank. We were cranky. <laughs> Ooh, we, we. I can't remember that. Oh, I do. I, I can't. You know, the doctor gave me memory pills. I keep forgetting to take them, so uh, I, I don't remember them things like that. <laughs> but I'll bet you this would be a pretty ride in the fall. Yeah. Yeah, this is a nice ride. Well, what do you think, Michelle? Let's go ahead and wrap this up for right now, and we're going to pick it up when we get to the destination location. number one. That's it, man. That's it. All right. So we are at the Upper Shirley Vineyards Winery and Restaurant. And check this place out. What do you think, Michelle? It's beautiful. So, so, so far, looks pretty good, doesn't it? I know this is one of the very few vineyards that I had seen that has deer fencing up yeah. back there where the grapes were at. Now out here they don't, but back there they certainly did. So what we're going to have to do is find a place to lock up our bikes at. And see about stepping inside. So, this is it right here. This is gonna be our lunch stop. Phew. You know, you got all these wine barrels here. Remember the Jack Daniel barrels? Yeah. I had, had them in the house. We had the office when I cowboyed. Looked like an old saloon. We had a Jack Daniels barrel there. Tell them how your dad got it there. I can't even remember. On the back of a tractor trailer. Okay. But uh, I cut the top off and I really wanted to run a gutter down, have a pump inside of it, and run that pump, run water into it so that it was running out. Michelle said she wouldn't do it because we'd just have to go to the bathroom all the time. So, all right. Sorry, we look rough. We just got off the trail. It's okay. We got video cameras, so we're yeah. no fizz. Would you guys like to sit inside or outside? Oh, it's pretty the warm back. outside. Yeah. It's pretty warm outside. You want to sit inside? Yeah, I don't mind. Stick I mean, that, I'll leave it up somewhere. to you, wherever you want to sit. If you want to sit outside, go for it. No, we'll sit. We'll just shove us in the corner. That corner right there would be perfect. Follow me right this way. Thank you. Well, the girl recommended I was going to do a do a wine tasting, but it's kind of early and it's a little warm outside. So the girl recommended two different sweet wines to me. I'm kind of a Moscato person, and I tried I tried the white, and it's still not sweet enough for me. So I'm going to try the red now and see how that goes. And um, that's probably not for me either. So. <laughs> Not that it's not, not that it's probably <laughs> not a very it together, good. Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> not that it's not probably. Huh? <laughs> not that it's not a. These are not good wines, but I'm very picky and, and I'm a dessert okay. wine only. So okay. anyway. So this is what we got. We got bread, bread basket, or different jams and stuff with it. And, and we have also got check that out, man. chocolate covered strawberries for Michelle, but I'll bet you I'm going to sneak one of them when she ain't looking. It's on my side of the table, folks. Michelle, look over there. Yeah. <laughs> look, the flying eagle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to have this, and we'll let you know how it, how it is and when we get back on the road. 
She's over there. This is over here. Proof I got one. I snuck it from her. I told her, look, there goes another mic. And she looked away. Well, guys, I think that's going to wrap it up from here on the Virginia Trail. We have one more destination to make. So we're going to get back there and get loaded up. Michelle stopped back there. She's taking a couple of shorts. and But we're going to load up and head down to our final ride for this road trip. So, hey, till we get there, this is Southern E-Biking telling you, stay safe, God bless, and keep the wheels rolling. Once again, we're out.